But today I'm going to, on practice strokes, show you how we paint on a regular rock. There's all kinds of shapes and all that you can get in the side. Um, I had a request for angel wings, so I thought I was going to come on here and make some longer angel wings. It's kind of fun. So one of the things that happens is um, you can take and use a chalk pencil or a regular pencil. I don't know how the pencil is going to draw on here per se, but... Uh, let's see. See, I don't think it's going to show very well. So, but I usually have a chalk pencil and I don't right now. So I'm just going to go ahead and show you that I'm going to have the wings come this way from here down this way. All right. So then I'm going to come right in here on both sides. All right. And then as I'm coming across here, I want you to see that I'm going to bring it down like this. All right, I'm going to just, this is just laying out the shape, okay, guys? Okay, so that's how I want to lay it out. All right, then and there's different... Um, I can I think that we can just kind of fill this in and just show you now that I'm gonna double load. Those are like little daisy strokes, okay? Now I'm gonna lay that brush down for right now and pick up that's a two. Where is my six? I, I think a six will help us do this. All right, so you can use a couple different colors. So I can come in here. And I can side load gray. So I take the six and make it all white and side load gray. I can come right in here and shade that. See that? So I side stroke medium gray. This is all multi surface paint. And I can bring it around there. So let's do a little bit more shading on this side. See right in there. All right, so that gives you depth of where the, the feathers are going to go. And the other color you could do is use some coffee latte, all right? So if I was to come in here, you can decide if you like coffee latte. You know, and, and do some of the strokes like that. Um, so then I have some longer ones. The longer ones come all the way up, flat, stroke, stroke, stroke. All right, then what they do have, I'm going to steady myself with my finger, okay? All right, now in here, a couple of things that would look good. Let's do this up here. All right. Kind of maybe do that on both sides so that you can remember as you're going. All right. So I dip white, side stroke the tan. Okay. So. All right. I like to seal the rocks, but that just remember because this is multi-surface paint, it has a sealer in it. But if you want to, you could spray a good coat of lacquer or you can brush it on. See, that gets kind of flat there. Just make sure you pick up nice white. All right. Now, I'm going to wipe this, get some paint, white paint again. Let's do some gray because in here is lots of little short strokes. Okay, there's a couple of ways you can do that. That's all on the chisel. Or you can lay your brush down and side stroke white and make little scoops like this. Let's look at that closer. So you come right in here. And maybe I do need the two flat here. Okay. So let's just try this over here. All right, so I got gray. 
and then I picked up the white. All right, so we can come right in here and then pick up some more. It's got gray for shading and then a little tip of white. So we just keep coming in here. Ah, teeny painting. <laughs> I definitely can't drink caffeine in the morning. I'm doing little teeny painting. All right. So the idea is either on the chisel or doing those little strokes. See how you can get this angel wing. And I love having the loose feathers. See, and it looks like it's raised on there. Is that kind of cool? Now, I do like to show you that I would come in here and put some Juneberry. All right. So let's take some Juneberry and side load white. So you already have. Let's get a little bit more white. There we go. All right, so I'm going to come right here. See how I'm just taking that white along there. So let's side stroke white again. It's just that paint's, I guess, not fresh because I can't side load well, so I'll just start over there. Up and over, make a U. Now, I don't think we need green. I just think if we come in here with some pretty little roses. Okay. There we go. Isn't that kind of pretty? Now, if you take the two, you could just put a little teeny bit of a teal. This is with a two flat. We can put a little teeny leaves or you could just leave the angel wings which are very pretty also so i'm going to come down here and i'm going to put little leaves this is teal little teeny leaves all right y'all like that And then you can date it or put some nice little scripture on the back and you can leave it as a gift. All right. And I just put little angels on glass blocks on the little glass marbles and I would sell them six for a dollar, six for five dollars. <laughs> you buy five, get one free. And um, they were simple little angel strokes. Um, with scrolls, I mean, like uh, comma strokes. So, isn't that fun? Doesn't that like dimensional? It's because of the colors we put behind it. All right. That's for you, Rhonda, and everybody else who would like to paint angels on rocks. Thank you. Bye-bye.